Good luck, Commander. Hey, my name's Dr. Knott. This is XCOM Enemy Within, and today we're going to Alexandria, Egypt. Very difficult mission, only three panic. We got a 60% panic on our hands here. That's manageable. Five engineers, that's the most important thing, and that's how we're going to Egypt. Let's go. And so we're going to take a rookie out. Who do we have? We don't have a lot of people left. And I'm going to take the person with the best aim. So let's do a quick little uh, 55. Why are you even on the, on the XCOM squad? 60. All right, that's still failing. Emma, how about you? 60. 41 will if I saw that correctly. And okay, Sophia, 75. Welcome to the squad. We're going to load you out. And we're going to give you this. Look at that. 7 health. Invincible. All right. For the rest of our group here, we've got one person that's injured, right? Yeah, Zhang. So we'll have one of everybody else. Sniper with our Reaper rounds. We're gonna keep this here. He's got all the explosives. His abilities include uh, Danger Zone. So rock attacks are increased by two tiles in radius, I think. Or maybe diameter, probably. And then our support group can heal like four people, so... Feeling better about this one. Current objective is still capturing a live alien. We're gonna add to our collection of live aliens. So... We got the outsider on the last mission. This time, we're gonna aim for... Sectoid. Probably if they are on this thing, so... We're dropping you just inside the Egyptian border. We're still picking up transmissions indicating alien movement in one of their major city centers. We should get down there and secure the area ASAP. Alright, so they, they like attacking, like, random buildings that we have to then defend. Our guys seemed a little hesitant there, that's not a good sign. It's okay, we got this. Alright. Solid copy, Big Sky. Sophia. Cleared to engage. Let's go. We're going to the. What is that? The shop paper. Paper. Oh God. The shop paper ink. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this map, or something along where we have a parking lot and that. Okay. Okay. Let's see, I want to put our sniper behind some full cover. And we'll sit her there for a second. Let's move back this way. Roger that. Let's be cool for a moment until we figure out which direction the aliens could be coming from. Because right now it's, who knows, it could be this way. It could be, we got like a 90 degree swath here. So let's wait. We're not really doing much with the melds right now. I could build another me well I can't, I don't have enough uh, credits, enough supplies, enough money, whatever you want to call it. I use all those ter terms interchangeably. So I'm not like in a huge rush to go get the melds. We know where it is. I don't recall if there's a way to get through this. Uh, I think there is, through, these, through this, uh, what do you call this, wall? <laughs> Um, let's take a little peek. We know the meld's that way, and all these doors are closed, at least here, so we should be able to take a look down the parking lot. Looks like we're okay. Wish that was a spot that was full cover. Let's move her here. Kind of weird positioning, but I mostly did that so that we could take a look with other people. I don't want him like off in a weird area. Like, let's see. Like, yeah, we're not finding any hole in this, and I don't want to use a grenade to do that. We did find the meld, though, but that's far. I wonder if we could sneak in through the opposite side. Like, it might be open down there. It might be open down there. Yes, Commander. So what I'm going to do is bring in these two. Because this way, it looks like we're going to have a lot of trouble finding a good cover. To designated position. Oh, 
Well, I might try running around the back here. Hmm, what is making that sound? Yeah, that melts. Oh no, it just keeps going. Ugh, that's annoying. See, the issue also here, of course, is that everything here is explosive. And if I come over here, this is nice and full of cover, but if there's something that way... Let's Don't take a peek. We, we can... Okay, there we go. I mean, these are good shots. There's the melds, alright. He's not going to be able to see unless they jump up. And he's not going to get a shot at all. I could do the old grenade over the wall trick here. But I'd probably need to get like right about, let's see. Because they're not even in cover. Neither are in cover, so this should be pretty simple. These guys might not even get shots. They can see these ones. He can't see anything. I can move him here though. Alright, what do we got with him? I don't know if I like keeping the rookie up front. So let's see if we can kill them with people in the back first. Okay, nice. I mean, I feel like we should be able to do this, so let's give her a chance to kill. Nice work. Nice work. Let's... First off, see if we don't see if this doesn't screw up. This could be this could be beneficial having him on this side. I'm not sure. That's what we're looking for. You can see that? Oh, we're not getting to that. Are you kidding me? Why can he see that though? Hmm. Okay. So the issue with going down this parking lot, let me tell you this, let me tell you. We walk down this way, we have cover mostly facing this direction, right? So we have cover on this side. And something, some group just walks out of the building and sideswipes us. That's what's going to happen, I can tell you this already. I don't like it either. That's why, well, first off, there's no possible way to even get to that melt. We'd have to, we, we would have had to have been dashing well before now. I want to see if we... If he comes and finds somebody here, though, we're going to be screwed with him. So Okay, so we can get over there. That could be beneficial. But we need him to move a little faster, or everyone else to move a, a little slower. I'm okay with moving a little slower. I'm going to bring up here... I'm waiting for something to walk out these doors, so that's why I don't, I don't want to be... In a flankable spot when it comes to coming out of this building. Because so I played this map a few times before now that I remember this and Okay. What was that? Oh my god. Okay, did we catch that? Did we catch where they all went? Because that is insane. Three mutons. Can I do this? There's one on that side. There are two over here. Come on, come on, come on. This has to work. That might hit. One came up pretty close. He's in full cover. This should hit. I. It'll hit the one that's behind the truck. And maybe there's one over here. It's gotta hit something. Did it? What? What? I don't. I don't even know what happened. <laughs> Maybe it killed some of them. This is all half cover. You're joking me. We have to be cool here, cause they could come out and really just destroy us. I'm gonna keep her here. We're, we might hold, maybe we'll hold our ground here. I don't want to get attacked by hit by a grenade though. One, two, three. 
So they're gonna need a radius of four to hit us. I think we're okay. Same here. This is kind of risky. I don't know what's going on. I think we may have killed two. Don't know. Okay. Yeah, he's pissed. Oh, there are two left. Okay. Okay, that's just one. He doesn't have a lot of life, though. Does not have a lot of life. Yeah, why is this minus 10? Oh boy. That's not a bad... Is he in full cover also? No, he's in half. So, this is the, the thing, though. They're in such a position where, oh yeah, I could come up here and dash and run and gun or whatever and try to hit them. And then we're gonna, we're gonna get another group. We're gonna trigger another group. That's the issue. Um, we're very close to doing this grenade thing. That only does three. I want to see, maybe I'll try this flush. Yeah, we got him. That's actually really good. Because now, I think he's flankable, right? Wait. No, that's not really good at all. He's got terrible aim now because he got he got tapped by a shot, and now he's like, I don't want to be here anymore. What I could do is I think I can wrap around on this side. On it. Hit him with the grenade. We know where he is. Right back here. The other one's back there somewhere. We're going to hold our ground. Have him run at us. We're going to draw him back. Uh, our dude over here back this way, too. We're just going to wait here for the other one. Because I don't especially feel like dealing with running up to it. I don't even know if it's on Overwatch. That's a questionable spot. Hundred percent crit chance. There you go. Nice. I like that. So he was probably like, "Oh, I know where this guy back here is," but I didn't realize there are four other people sitting there. Brilliant. All right, we're gonna pull him back. We're gonna heal him. So we're gonna keep everyone else here either reloaded. Reload. Or I'm gonna pull her on this okay. side quickly. Then we're gonna start investigating. I think the rest are gonna be inside. That's my guess. But we'll wait and see. I'm gonna keep him actually reload. He'll heal. I know it's only one damage under this guy, but he only has five health, and that's that's a kill shot by anyone. So let's give him that sixth HP. Oh yeah, I forgot we have three of these anyway, so might as well. Good as new. Good as new, man. Healed back. You need more HP. What is wrong with you? And because we did that, let's wait one more turn. Plus we need this reload real bad. Now we're out of explosives, so we have to keep that in mind. We're playing fair and square. Oh, okay. Oh, they're still melt. I don't think. I think that's that's a trick. We're not gonna be able to make it to that. I think we should play in here. So let's go this way. Okay. Let's just follow this as if it's position confirmed. The only lead we have here. I can't really stick her anywhere. That would be beneficial. Understood. So I'm actually gonna dash people up here. I guess I'll overwatch here, because there's nothing else I can really do. And I'm gonna overwatch here, in case something walks around the other way, but... We're gonna open this up. 
should really have put her into a better spot. Let's see. Okay. Aha. All right. This is kind of a uh, something. Oh man! If we only had a. I can run and gun, but I don't think I can do a stun. She's got a good, good shot here. What can I do with anybody else? I. Hmm. Not a whole hell of a lot. Moving. This is a flankable spot, but I think because of this, that's full cover. He should be okay. Alright, alright. Could have done a little more. Can we see anybody from here? Yes, we can. These guys, though, but we'll give her a shot to do this. Don't like that spot, obviously. Go back here. Поехали. Probably gonna have to move, unfortunately. Heading there now. If I could run and gun, where could I go to? Here? And then just really bank on the fact that we hit this. Because this guy could come in. Yeah, he could flank us. This is really risky. Really risky. Come on. Okay. That's massive. That is... Where are you going? We could get poisoned. These guys are gonna have not the worst shots. Yeah, there you go. That's annoying. Does this guy have cover there? Oh, apparently. Should be able to take him out. Rookie's doing some work, and what do we got here? I'd love to go stun, but obviously not gonna do that with an overwatch. That was a 60 with a pistol. Wow. Let's do this. Maybe we can still get the stun. Oh, you're gonna run away. Okay. Just hoping you'd run closer. I don't know why you would do that. Now I'm worried that I, I'm not sure where he's gonna come out from. This guy probably not the best spot because he doesn't have a whole lot of HP, and if he's flanked, he's dead. My gosh, we're just like tapping his toe. Sie wollen sich zurückziehen. Okay. Oh, Holy oh, what? That's like that's unreasonable. That's ridiculous. How did you crit there? Like Oh my god, and there are more. And he was our healer.
Like, that is insane. Like, how... You just have to... As a full cover, right? Oh, okay. We've got some poison happening. This is... A little rough. Let's jump over here. We need to get the the indication. She's not poisoned anymore, but she's gonna have a hard time hitting anything. Okay. Because she's been poisoned. Okay, completely back around the other way. Love it. Just hope we don't trigger anything here. Moving on target location. Just not a lot we could have done with that with that kill. That was a ten damage crit in full cover. Not much else to say. Just one stupidly lucky shot. All right, what we're gonna do is wait for these two. I'm gonna move him over here. Roger that. These two are gonna sit back on this door because obviously it's see through. If I move up here, we're probably gonna see what it is. I'm gonna spring open with these two, and then maybe she can get a shot with a sniper rifle. Or I can run it with a pistol. Looks like they're out in the parking lot though, so this might not work out. Okay, one door and two doors. So then what we'll do instead... Let's kick that open because we're mad! That doesn't do anything. Well, now we're gonna wait. Okay, so I think, hmm, I can do maybe, I think they're, I think they're out in the parking lot, so we should move these people in the back up a little bit. They don't have eggs. Roger that. I don't like this positioning, so I'm going to wait. Oh yeah, they're like walking out. Hey, what happened out here? So I feel like if I move here, first off, that's not even a good spot. Let's see if we can see anybody. By doing this. Okay, next turn we're gonna move the other two in the back up. Really just stalling to see if we can get these aliens thrown into us, but it's not. Oh, okay. Oh, it's these guys. Okay, that's fine. I mean, that looked pretty good. All right, we know what to do. Let's group up, huddle. Just hope there aren't any more enemies here, because if they stumble upon us in a position like this, we could really get really get hurt. Ideally, they would go after our sniper, Elena. They would. Uh, okay. Perfect. Perfect. 
Because <laughs> that will happen. Pistol does the least amount of damage, obviously. So, let's do this again. Okay. Oh, through the wall. That's... That's not fair. How do we not get shots off on that? Another one down. Good work, Commander. Come on. That's BS. I mean, I guess it's not a 0% chance to get a crit. So I don't, I don't think that the aliens deal with red fog, which is if one of our soldiers gets hit or injured during a mission, their aim just plummets, completely plummets. And I don't think that happens with the aliens. Okay, so in terms of kills, he wasn't really doing a whole lot, but he was our healer. He was our support, you know? But we got a new support. We need to get her up, so we're going to bring her on a few missions now. Urban Combat and Defender's Metal. Alright, let's assign those. We've got five engineers. Sweet we mother of God, that's important. We will be We're gonna build satellites, so I'm getting rid of some of this garbage. So, I want to... let's go... can I do this faster? There we go. We need to build some of our laser weapons too, so I'm gonna get some... I know this is kind of a lot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, did I mean to do that? Let's do three, huh? All right. I'm receiving you. We'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. What are you talking about, Brad? Okay, maybe this is getting rid of too much. Go back up to 125. Seekers. Okay. So now what we can do... The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. We can only do one. Start with that. Should be okay with... Let's see you. Should be okay with, I'd say, three, and then just one of these. Let's do our loadout quickly. So she's gonna get the laser pistol, and then we're gonna upgrade to that on everyone that can. Everyone up here that can. He's not going to use it, right? Correct. Then it's Sophia as well. And then he's not going to use it either. And this is all we have. These are our soldiers. Should we probably hire somebody? Cost 15. We've got negative 5 month there right now, which is awful. Let's hire 2. Let's take a look at them. No, they're not here yet. Forgot that it takes a few days for that to happen. Oh my god. Okay. Well, in order to get the engineers, we had to have chaos ensue. This is not going well. Not going well. That cost a hundred. Let's wait for it. All right, let's see what happens here. Jang's back, we got carapace armor. Didn't we have like a priority here? Apparently not. Everything's slow because we don't have enough scientists. These are instant. Let's do this. 
Let's do all of these. Also, I'm sure you can make the connection yourself. We've designated this particular specimen as a floater. The research team is continuing in its efforts to determine how the aliens prevented the organic tissue from rejecting the mechanical components, as they seem to work in perfect harmony with one another. Alright, floaters. I couldn't remember their names. Okay, we've got that. Neato. The tall one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the Thin Man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, they seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. Hmm, reptilian in nature, interesting. Gas grenade and muscle fiber density in the genetics lab, which we don't have. Like a super jump. All right. This is the most physically aggressive specimen we've discovered so far, which the troops fondly refer to as the Muton. I can only assume there's a colorful backstory for such a designation. Fondly referred to as the Muton? Right. Adrenal Neurosympathy. Chrysalid. Based on what we've seen in the field so far, including several grotesque examples of trauma resulting from the emergence of its young, we've taken to calling this specimen a chrysalid. That gives us some stuff. Plating, needle grenade, and bioelectric skin. Cool. And the Seeker. Despite its physical appearance, this machine doesn't seem to be made up of any organic components. Its surface has an unusual metallic composition that somehow interacts with the vapors it releases for concealment. That's cool. Respirator implant. Respirator. Respirator. Oh my god. Respirator implants, ghost grenade, and uh, mimetic skin. All right, let's do the power source. And see what's happening. What's happening in the world now? Okay, excavation, new soldiers, Raven one's ready, and the foundry. Okay, we're not using any scopes right now. Probably should do that. What should I want to do? One of these. Should we do the improved pistol? Let's just do that. Seven days. Okay. I'll send word to the foundry crews now. You can follow their progress remotely from the project queue in engineering. Okay, we're getting some good power. Let's see what our next thing to do is. Actually. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll There's wait. a priority one transmission coming in from the council. Oh, good. <gasps> Confounding lights. According to Dr. Shen's report, the transponder device provided by Zhang is tied into the navigation system of an alien battleship approaching our atmosphere. The doctor believes deploying a series of modified transponders could provide you with a means of diverting the battleship before it reaches its target. We'll transmit the remaining mission parameters to Central, and we get two engineers. Watch out. So that's what we're going to do next time. Council Mission Confounding Light. This one is a tricky one. I remember this one because last time I played, I had to try it maybe like 10 times. So let's see how badly it goes next time. Thank you for watching, and yeah, hopefully it's not too confounding in the light. Take care. Goodbye.